What's up guys? Welcome back. A21 Bravo here. Today we're going to do another quick flex video and we're going to talk a little bit about ring gap and do you need to gap your rings or should you gap your rings on a stock high mileage LS engine. There's a lot of information out there about gapping your rings on boosted applications. So we're going to talk about that boosted or nitrous or whatever you would want to do. Do you need to gap your rings? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my old engine that I blew up, I'm going to pull a piston out and I'm going to look at the factory ring gap. So this was a 200,000 mile engine and I'm going to pull the piston out. I'm not going to, I haven't measured it yet. So you guys can watch me do it. I'm going to pull it out, put it back in the bore and measure the factory ring gap and see what's in there on a 200,000 mile engine. So today I want to find out basically, should you gap your rings? Some out there are like, Hell no, you don't need to do that. And some guys out there are like, why on earth would you boost a stock engine with stock ring gap? You crazy. So let's find out. So a lot of you guys that are subscribed already know about this, but this is the engine that I blew up because I over boosted it. Basically, there was no boost reference on the wastegate and uh, over boosted and ended up breaking three rods. So two, two rods here and then there was one rod here that was broken. So... This is kind of junk. These are okay. So even on the over boosted application, I didn't have any issues with the rings, the piston rings. Usually when you see high boost applications or whatever, you have high heat in the cylinders and they expand and they pinch the rings together and you crack the pistons. So we didn't see any of that. These pistons are still good, but I did break the rods. So there's the other rods are actually bent but some of them broke. So I'm gonna try to do this all in one clip so you guys know that there's no funny business going on. So I already pulled the, the cap off the bottom of this <clears throat> piston. So we're gonna pull this out, this piston out, and we're gonna measure the top ring. Take it off, put it back in the bore. I'm gonna use another piston to push it down an inch into the bore. And let's find out what our gap is. So that was a 20 thousandths. So I'm going to go right to, I'm going to start at 28. Let's try 28. So 28 almost went in. 26. All right, so 26 thousandths seats all the way in there. And you guys can't see that from that angle, but... So you see this 26, 26 though. Let's flip it back around this way. It's just so you guys can actually see this. Stick it down in the bore. Do the little test, a little jiggy again. Take the 26 thousandths again, same thing. And there you go, you can actually see that that's gapped at 26 thousandths. So that would be stock gap and a 200,000 mile engine. Um, there you go. So that's the top ring, top compression ring. So let's look at the second ring. Let's see where this bad boy's at. Do it right on this side again. So that 20, 26 just fell right in there. So we'll go up to 28. 28 thousandths goes right in. 30 thousandths. 
So that's about as tight as it's going to get. So that's 30 thousandths. Thirty thousandths. For the second ring. Completely stock pistons, stock rings, motor was never opened up. We got twenty-six and thirty thousandths. If we take that twenty-six thousandths measurement and we divide it by the cylinder bore of four inches, we come up with 0 0.0065 for the top ring. So if you look at the top ring specs on this chart, you have a gas alcohol or E85 engine, top ring dimension is 0 0.0065, and that would be the spec that you need for 150 to 350 shot of nitrous. And it's also pretty close for the medium boost range, uh, just turbo, medium boost range, which is 0 0.007. So you're pretty much right there for 15 to 30, and you're over the spec that you would need to safely run 15 pounds of boost. That'd be a 0 .0065 for the top ring, which is the 26 thousandths measurement. For the second ring, we had 30 thousandths. So if you divide 30 thousandths by the four inches, you come up with 0 .0075. So let, now let's look at the 0 .0075. So you're looking at possibly a, almost a 350 shot of nitrous, or 30 plus pounds of boost for a 0 .008 multiplied by the bore. So you're looking at a pretty high boost range or nitrous range for your engine, for top ring and second ring. These are just the stock specs with 200,000 miles of wear on the gap and that's what we're coming up with. Hopefully you guys were able to get something out of this. So that is the stock ring gap on a 200,000 mile engine, roughly 200,000 mile engine. And the ring gap currently is set up for approximately 30, up to 30 pounds of boost, I would say, probably comfortably. I know that that was well over 30 pounds when it broke three rods and it didn't have any issues with the piston rings actually binding and breaking the piston. So if that says anything, I don't know. Do with this information whatever you want to do. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm not recommending anything. Just giving you the information and showing you the measurements. So that's it for this one. Have a good one.